All right, so let's just pop in our eyes now and let's, let's get this started. Okay, very good. All ready now? Ready to get this going? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I can't see everybody. <laughs> this is driving me crazy. Okay, guys, so I'm going to get this started right now. Um, I know that I've got a gentleman here that's stepping forward. And as I start working with this gentleman, I do feel with him him that he would have had a strong presence about him i also feel with him that he would have been a father here on earth now at the moment i'm not quite sure if he's your father but i do feel that he would have been a father on earth i know that this this father this this um, gentleman that i have with me i know that he would have had um uh, i know that he would have liked to have dressed quite well I know that he would have uh, had suits that he would have worn as well. I feel that his uh, wearing of a suit was um, quite common with him. It wasn't every once in a blue moon with him. I also feel with him, you know, I, I can see this gentleman a, a, a bit and I know that he would have been quite handsome in his day. I also feel with him that he would have had a sense of importance about him in the work that he did. I know that he would have had people that he would have had uh, working under him, all right? So, uh, just keep let me just keep going i also know that he would have um been one who worked he would have had his own office where he worked i also feel you know i do feel that this is somebody's dad and i also feel that he would be um he is looking for his daughter as well so I know that he would have had an office that he would have worked at. I also aware with this gentleman that he would have loved um, being out in the country because he takes me to the countryside. And uh, I feel that he would have had just a bit of a commute that he would have had to have done to get to work. But uh, the countryside was where he loved to be at most of the time. I, I know that his commute uh, to work, I feel that he would have uh, commuted by train as well. So put your hands down if you can't take all of it. If you can take all of it, keep your hand up. Okay, so how many do I have? You've got, you've got two, two at the moment. Okay, so I, I feel with this gentleman, three. three. I feel that this gentleman would have spent a great deal of time at home. It almost feels as if that would have been in a more rural area would have been where he, he lived, but the commute to uh, work would have taken him into um, a, a city. I don't feel it was a gigantic city, but I feel that the commute would have taken him into a more busier, um, more city-like area. My word. Rini and Victoria. Okay. Uh, I also feel with this gentleman, I, I, I feel a little bit of a pull there with Victoria, but keep listening for it for a second, uh, Rini. Um, I, I also know with this gentleman that uh, I, I do feel that he would have lived in the rural area. Is that correct? You can speak, Victoria. Yes. Yes, and I also feel with him, and I'm, he's taking me now to, to, the, to the rural area, because I believe that's where his love was, Victoria. I believe that's where um, he wanted to spend most of his time. I don't feel that he really was a city person per se. I, I know that he would have loved the countryside. I can see buildings that he's showing me that would have, uh, have I see it's a rough surface. It looks like buildings that would have been made from rock or stone or something to that effect. Does that make sense, Victoria? Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Um, I'm just going to check. Irene, do you understand this still? Yes. I do. Okay. Yes, you do. Perfect. All right. So, um, and you understand the rocks as well, Irene? Do. Buildings that would have made been made with stone. Yes, the buildings. Yes. Okay. Now, as I as I start working with him as well, I feel that 
I know I've already said he was in a rural area, but I also feel that there would have been barns and buildings of that sort around him and around his house where he lived. Because I feel that some of these stone buildings would have had um, animals that would have gone into these stone structures. Does that make sense? I'm out. Who said Victoria's that? out. Um, Victoria's out. Would you understand that, Rini? No, I, I don't understand the animals. And, and Victoria, you don't understand the animals. Okay, so let me just work with that. But would you understand that there would be animals around him? Because I feel it's in that kind of setting because I can see cows. I also see sheep as well. Well, I can take this, but uh, not around his house. Not around his house, but in that area where he yeah. lived? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Rini, would you understand that around the area where he lived? Not so much. Not so much. Okay, so then I, I think I must be with you, Victoria. So, um, and you would understand this as dad, correct? Yes. Yes. Not for me. <laughs> Pardon? Not for me. It's not your dad. No. It's not your dad. And is it your dad, Rini? Because I feel this is sad, but you don't understand the animals. Yes, I, I can take it from my father. The animals as well. Um, not so much the animals. Okay, but you understand dad. Yes, I do. All right, because I feel that this is dad and I feel he's with his um, uh, hair for your for daughter. So Victoria, I, I'm just going to keep working here with Rini because I, I do feel this is dad. And you would understand uh, with your dad uh, this love for the country and wanting to spend time in the country. And I feel that with your dad, see, I can feel the pool now. And you would understand with your dad uh, going on walks. And I, I feel that this would have had some heels in here as well. And I also feel that uh, in, within the house, He's like, no, I don't want to go into the house, but I know that I can see this house here and I can see these structures, but I also see him taking off and walking in this area where it's hilly. I also see that there would be an animal, like a dog that would have gone with him. And I feel that this dog would have been quite important to him. I feel that that was his, that was his bud. It was his buddy. And he, the dog was, in, uh, the dog was going to go out no matter what. He was going to take that dog with him. I also feel with him, but I'm hearing feedback. I don't know where that's coming from. Um, but Lisa Bartstoff, can you put your microphone off, please? Yeah. So, uh, but you would understand, Dad. Um, also understand, with your dad going off into this distance, there must have been uh, a place where he would walk, where he could, where there would be water, like a, a creek or a pond or something to that effect. And he would at times take something, a fishing pole or something like that with him to fish. And the dog would also be in tow with that as well. I also feel with your dad that he was a deep thinker and that he, he liked having that alone time with him because that was, Oh, it was his therapy in a way this way he's just sharing with me and that he he enjoyed having that time alone and just being with himself and contemplating life and solving the problems of the world he was quite intelligent your dad and i know that he had a very quick mind i know that uh, it was a sharp mind as well but i feel your dad was quite humble too i feel that uh he, even with that, and he, he did have this, this gentleness with him as well, that he could, um, he, he understood people as Hold well. On a minute, Kay. I'm just going to try and mute that for you. Okay, thank you. And he, he had, um, um, What's my train of thought here? Let me just get back in here. So I know that he would have uh, had a way with people. He would have understood people. He could read people quite well as well. Quite intuitive, your dad. Quite intuitive. 
Um, I know that your dad is very, very proud of you. I know that he, he's, he watches you and you've got obviously your medium and he sees how that is something that he had within him. But I believe that in life, he just makes me aware in life, he was oblivious to this kind of thing. He didn't realize that he could do this but now that he's in the spirit world he knows and he can see it and i know that he's quite proud of you for that and so i just want to uh bring that through to you and let you know that your dad is here he sends all of his love and he's so so proud of you and the dog is with him in the spirit world and uh he says i've got my buddy with me and so uh, i know that they're spending time fishing and i know that they're doing some other things in the spirit world as well but uh he sends all his love to you and i'll just leave him leave that there with you thank you for working with me okay good thank you that all was right. beautiful thank you right on with all of it thank you Kay. thank you all right so let's see where we're going next oh almost down the wrong one all right, I know I have a lady here coming forward to me now. Now, I, uh, I feel this would be somebody's grandmother. Uh, she's giving me this feel of a grandmother right now. I know that uh, she's got a, a nice little energy about her, a very loving energy. So she would have been a grandmother who um, uh, loved to give hugs and, and, and uh receive hugs as well uh she's not alone though i know that she's got a a gentleman with her as well but i as i start working with this grandmother i feel with this grandmother that she would have spent a great deal of time in the home uh, i also feel with this grandmother that she would have been the rock of the family as well she would have been like a matriarch in this family she's um she has a tenderness about her, she does, and she loved her family quite well, but I feel she could be very uh, stern as well and very strong as well. I know that with this grandmother, I feel that I, I, I do feel that I am in the States here with this grandmother. And I know that she would have lived not in a city, she would have lived in the more rural kind of uh, setting as well. I also feel with this grandmother, she would have had chickens and I know she would have gathered eggs every day. And I feel that uh, with whoever is here would have been one to help to gather those eggs. Um, I just know that she, she just shows me these chickens in the yard. And I know that with this grandmother, there's some funny stories that go with these chickens, of these chickens getting after the little ones um, as well, because she can share that with me. So am I with Vicky? Is that who I'm with? You're with Vicky. Shall I unmute her or? Yeah, I think so. Hi, Vicky. Uh, hi, just a sec. I don't know where Vicky is. I can't see you, I, Vicky. I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see you. That's okay. <laughs> so you understand all of this, right, Vicky? I do, I do. Okay, perfect. And you understand um, uh, the, the chickens chasing children as well? I, I do, yes. Yeah, getting after them and pecking at their feet is what I'm seeing, or chasing them. Or in, and it's not just one child, but I feel that there would have been a couple of children that these ch chickens would have done. And there must have been a, a one child that would have been a little bit hesitant to go in and get the the eggs because of the fear that the chickens were going to come after them. Does that make sense? That I'm not sure about the hesitancy. Definitely, there's stories about those, though. <laughs> okay, good, perfect. And uh, I know that there would have been a rooster as well within these hens. Yep. Yes, and uh, I know that the rooster could be a little pesky as well. Yes. Yes. I feel that the rooster was more peskier than the than the than the chickens, but I I I want to just go back with your grandmother here. Uh, I know that your grandmother would have had this great love for family, but I also feel that that um, 
she, she would have been one that you knew you had to do what you were expected to do. Um, True. That she wasn't going to really let you get away with too bad, too much. That's you know, right. A lot of grandmothers like to let the grandchildren get away with anything. But I feel with this one, she wanted to keep things in tow. And she just shares with me that, that um, her, her reasoning behind that was, was because we, we were raising children. And that we have to raise children um, in, in order for them to be productive citizens. So I know that would have been a part of her makeup. Does that make sense to you? It, it perfect sense, yes. Yeah. And, and when she says raising children, I feel that, uh, you know, your grandparents were just as much a part of, it was a, it was a family thing. It wasn't just mom and dad. It was just, it was a family uh, raising, if that makes sense. Am I saying that right? It, that makes sense to me, yes. Okay, because everybody pitched in and everybody helped everybody. That's the feeling that she's, that she's given me. And I, yes. I feel that uh, uh, grandfather must be in spirit as well, because I feel like I've got grandfather here too. He is. Perfect. And I, I know that with, with grandfather, he, he must have had some teeth missing. Or something with the teeth. Uh, uh, well, that could be grandma, but I'm not sure if grandpa had his teeth missing or not. But there is something with the teeth with grandma. Okay, all right. Maybe that's her. I just, just, that just dropped in right then that there was something with, with, with the teeth. But uh, you would understand grandfather, and I, 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 I just want to work with him because he stepped in for just a minute. Grandmother must want to be the one that has the, the the show here that's yes. the feeling that i'm getting here but i feel <laughs> that grandfather is trying to ease his way in and, it, and it's like he's, he's like can i just get in here please <laughs> it's the feeling that this is different. true <laughs> i i i do feel that they both would have had a nice sense of humor because they're both kind of chuckling here with me and he says you know i have important things i have to say too you know it's not always about grandma but it's also I have things that I want to share as well. But I feel with your grandfather, I get a warm feeling with him too, just like grandmother. And I know that he, I feel grandfather would have been a little bit more softer than grandmother. Is that correct? That is yeah. correct. Yes. <laughs> because I, I, he, I, he's given me this little kind of giggle laugh. Like, you know, yeah. I could, you know, they got away with a little bit more <laughs> with me than they did with, with, with grandmother. Absolutely. But, um, yeah. I, but I, I feel he was just the salt of the earth. I, I feel that he, he uh, reminds me of my own grandfather, but I, I just feel that he would have been the salt of the earth. I feel he would have done anything for anything anybody that if you yes. needed a shirt and he didn't have one to give you he'd give the one off the off of his back that but would definitely I, fit I, I feel that 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 your your grandmother is is the same way as well and i i feel that um uh, they would have welcomed anybody into their home they would have yes. helped anybody that needed it. If you needed a meal, just come on over. We'll, we'll do that. They also must have had a garden where they raised vegetables and things of that nature as well. Because yes. they're showing me this garden. And I know that uh, they're showing me bushels of vegetables coming um, from, the, uh, from the garden where you're carrying the bushels from the garden. And yes. They would share those vegetables out with anybody who who was in need or anybody who just wanted some, that they would share those vegetables. They're just making me aware that there was always plenty to go around. There also must be memories of snapping peas and putting yeah. peas in, in, in the bowls and snapping them um, and stringing them as well. Green beans, yes. Yes, there must be there. And also the digging of, of uh, potatoes and new potatoes as well. Yes. They're also yep. just bringing uh, my attention uh, of strawberries or black and blackberries or some kind of berries. Blackberries. Blackberries, where, they, where you would pick the blackberries. But yep. and, and, uh, grandmother must have had a, a, a black berry cobbler or something like that that she used to make that was really quite yummy 
absolutely what she's telling me it was really good <laughs> and i know that she would put a little extra cinnamon and a little extra sugar in that because that's what made it good is what she's just saying to me but uh, i know that 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 garden was both of their pride and joy and then those must be memories of the children having to help in that garden uh, picking uh, the vegetables, um, but also as well as hoeing in the garden as well, because mm -hmm. I can see that there would be some things like that. And 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 Granddad's just saying, well, they didn't have to do it for free. We give them a little money, and they could go get an ice cream or something. But he always tried to give you a little something for helping, whether it was just an ice cream or something, as well, or even a nice word. Yes, or an, a nice word. Yeah. So, uh, he, but he goes, it, 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 I, it, I just keep getting this sense and this feeling here that it was all about family and yeah. all about teaching those core values and, and good values to be kind and respectful of, of people in general. Not Absolutely. Stealing. That's the feeling that I'm getting, giving there. Well, just now that both your loved ones are, your, your grandmother and your, and your grandfather both are here. They have uh, huge smiles on their faces. They've um, just seen right here. Um, and they're just bringing me back uh, to the, the vegetables. So there must be, um, it's got to be something with you with vegetables here. Either you're growing some vegetables or you grow your own vegetables or something along that line. Does that make sense? On a smaller scale, I on, do. Yeah, on a much and smaller scale. I, I only pots. eat vegetables, too. I ah. only eat vegetables. I don't eat meat. Okay. So I don't know if that's what they're referring to because they did eat meat. <laughs> well, I did see it on a much smaller level. I don't see a big garden here or anything, but I see you growing some, some vegetables and things. Yes. And uh, they're, they're quite happy about that as, as well. And they said, see, you learned wow. You learned wow. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I just want to uh, thank you for uh, allowing me to work with you and and i thank your grandmother and your granddad thank you thank you so much i love with you thank you thank you all right all right so jason i'm gonna i'm gonna turn this over to you now oh really yeah. oh good so I'm, I'm, I'm on the camera now hello everyone i hope you're still awake um can you all give me a wave please um just so that i know that you're still here get the energy up okay good Let's do this together. Um, I've got a gentleman stepping in with me. It feels like father. I've already got two hands. That's good. Um, <laughs> so I've got a father stepping forward, but he's showing me that he worked in, 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 in building and construction. So um, put your hands up if you're understanding this at the moment. I feel like a father figure working in building and construction. It feels also to me that he was a, a man that was quite, you know, he built his I want to talk about a company from the ground up. So I know he was a very determined man. I know he was a very um, strong man, but he is showing me for some reason, crane work and iron girders. So this says to me, he would have been someone when he worked in construction, he'd be working with um, like big buildings as well. Like, you know, so I'm not looking about just small houses. I'm looking at big big buildings, iron girders, as they say in Scotland, right? So I'm saying, this is what Father showed me. Um, he's also uh, bringing in that feeling of pride in his work. So I know he was a gentleman that really had a lot of pride in his work. I know he was a hard worker. I do feel that he had people underneath him. So I know he was, he was, they worked for him. Um, and he built, he literally built his company up from the ground up. And he's talking about solid foundations. So he was someone that really um, uh, believed believed in in that. Now, as for family values, he's like he's coming me with his family values. Like, oh yeah, he loved he loved his family, but he was a workaholic. So I know, even though he loved his family, he was a lot of the time not at home because he was a workaholic. Who's who have I got so far? I've got down got to two. two. Yeah. Um, and I just feel with him, he's making me aware of the heart for some reason. So I'm feeling heart problems with him. 
as well. And it feels like it is feeling quite complex. I'm feeling like either a, a, a talk of an operation or there was an operation. I feel, I feel there was. Does, um, could, is that, is, can you understand that, both of you? Um, I feel like he's, he's, he's pointing to the aorta, so there's something going on there. So there must have been something going on with where the operation was around that, like a bypass or something like that. Are you both with yes. me? Still. still. Um, okay. Um, but I feel with him as well. Um, so we've got, and somebody else has just joined me. Um, so we've got father, had his own company, built it up, but he showed me also that he left his watch behind and the watch is showing me that he left the watch behind that you would still have of his. Still with Rini. Down to one. Rini, open your mic, please. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. So we're talking about father here um, and um, the watch that you would have of his, right? Um, you would understand that. And you understand all the information I've said. Yes. I've got a little bit of feedback on your, yeah. on your mic, so I'm just going to um, close it. Um, but I'll, I'll, get the, I'll ask you for your yeses as, as I get, continue with him. You would also understand this gentleman as well as someone that likes to be very sociable because I'm like, he wants to go out, he wants to have a drink with the, with, with the men, if you understand what I mean. I do. Yes, I you do. do. Um, because he's showing me um, a, a glass, he's actually showing me, um, like, is it whiskey or something like that? Whiskey and rye, rye right. whiskey. He's like, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drink my whiskey, have some fun with the, with the men, because that's I, he's a man's man, you know what I mean? And there's something about, like, um, with you and him, it's like he, he's like, he, 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 would, he would take you under his arm. It's like, he, it's like he, he would have liked to have, have, have learned you how to build. Or, it's really strange, I know, but this is what he's bringing across. Would you understand that he would try and get you to build stuff as well? Yes. Because, you know, this is not something that a dad would normally do in construction with his daughter, but he wanted to get you into the building and construction work, if you know what I mean, in some way. Yes, I can definitely yeah. take that. Okay. Um, and I feel with him as well, with this um, operation, he said it was complicated, that it wasn't quite right, something went wrong. Um, and that was a knock on effect that um, took him to the spirit world, if you understand what I mean there. I'm sorry, I didn't The you. operation, yes. it, it was complex and something didn't quite go right with the operation. Yes. You understand where um, it, it damaged his health, where that had a knock-on effect on him um, with his health, you understand? I do. Um, I feel with him um, uh, compassion. I feel with him also um, a man that had uh, great values in, in life. Um, and But it's like something about, would you understand um, that there is... That, that somebody would have got a tattoo uh, for your dad um, in remembrance? I don't know. Okay, because he's just shown me, shown me this, this emblem. And it looks like something, to do, like an eagle or something like that. So um, either, if I'm, if I'm talking about a tattoo or something that was made in eagle form, would you understand that connecting to dad? I, I don't know if somebody had something made, but I always see eagles. You always see eagles. And is that the, the symbol that you have when you think of dad? It is. Okay, because he's showing me the eagle and he says that's an important thing. So I need to say that. So it's not, it's not up to me to understand what he's saying, but that's what he's saying. Because your dad was someone, even though he's a hard worker and he built all this up, he wanted to create, um, you know, um, uh, freedom for the family like that he, he wanted to earn his cost so that he had more freedom for the family he is bringing me to another side of him so i know he could be very playful um your dad when he was free um oh god he's would you understand also him liking the music from queen i liked queen because it's like <laughs> that music's playing too loud that i want to break free music and it's like this there must have been discussions with you and dad about this I made a lot of mixtapes for him. Okay. And it was, would you understand 
that you would have made him these mixtapes with Queen and with stuff like that because he was bringing me that. But he, your dad feels like, I don't know if, would you understand the name John connecting to him? Um, no. Okay, because he was just bringing me that. So just think about that and just remember that I said it because it was either John that was shortened to Joe, but I just feel that it was like, I need to mention that. It could be Jerry. Okay, well, um, I'm, I'm not going to make it fit, but it could be, could be. Um, but I, speaking about him, your dad must have liked his Western films as well. Because, like, he's coming in. And, like, he must have liked to, like, like, swagger when he walked. And obviously, after a few whiskeys, that he, he was quite a funny guy. You know, he'd, he'd like to make a few jokes about it. So you would have to watch these things with him. But also, he liked it to watch cartoons as well. He did. Because as that came in, it was like Jerry and Tom, and I'm like, oh, God. so he really enjoyed you having fun and laughing with him. And he just, he's just coming in that essence. And um, I'm, I'm not going to um, say too much, but really he's pointing to his watch. And, you know, you've been worrying about how much time have you got? You've been worrying about how's this going to unfold? What am I going to do? Uh, what about the future? And he's pointing to the time. The time is now. And, and your dad is like, you know, someone for, like for everyone, this message is like, the time is now. Just remember that, you know, what you do today is, is the most important thing. What you do at this one moment is the most important thing. Because, you know, it's, 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 it's really enjoying whatever you can to the last minute that you can. And he's like, the time is now to make you move. The time is now to enjoy it. The time is now to, to, to believe in what you want to achieve. So that's why he's come forward. And he's making me aware, uh, you did have a contact before this, but he is making me aware that it is a difficult time for you at this moment in time. And it is difficult. He is aware of that. And that's why he's come in. Okay. Thank you. Thank you You're so welcome. much, Jason. I You're did. Welcome. We were just talking about his watch last week, my son and I. Yeah. Would you understand it having like a leather strap? Um, not that one. All right, then you must be talking about the silver one that he had, but there is two watches that he's talking about. One would be a leather strap, one which he would have worn, but you have the one that's silver. Um, uh, somebody else has the one that's silver, but it will be going to my son. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he's saying it's a good quality one and he wants to take care of that. It's a Rolex with yeah, a Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. Good quality watch. It's a timepiece, right? Um, so tell him to take care of it. Don't get scratches on it. Don't okay. lose this one like he did the last thing. <laughs> because he would say it's a good quality time, time, time piece. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. Um, so put all your hands down and we'll, we'll um, thank you for the compliment, Lindsay. We'll just see who's going to come and communicate now. Um, okay. Yeah, there's, there's obviously a lot, a lot here, but I'm, I'm just going to go with this gentleman stepping in. I do feel a younger gentleman that like to enjoy parties, right? So I'm like parties and raves, like I'm seeing raves, parties, music, going out, clubs. Um, I'm getting this fast energy with him. And I just know he, he feels like either a brother to someone or someone was like a brother. Um, so just raise your hands if you feel, but I do feel with him as well. I do feel that he um, was someone that would like to experiment with drugs and alcohol. So I know that was involved within his life. Um, I feel with him as well. He was, he was living the moment, right? It's living the moment, go for it. Um, uh, and, and it's like, he's showing me fast cars. So I know he lived his life fast. I know he loved fast cars. And if he was going to get to A, B, A to B, there was no stopping him. Um, I feel this adrenaline rush with him. So if there was any amphetamines used, I know that would have been him. I also know that he was uh, uh, someone that um, believed, he was a bit of a, a Peter Pan. I know he was someone that really um, uh, believed, you know, he was invincible and he got up to crazy stuff. That's what he's making me aware of. I got up to crazy stuff. Um, and I just feel with him as well, um, and I feel as when as well, it's like, I feel a love for who he's come for today. And I do feel this um, sense of um, passion. He says, we dance together. He's saying, so you went with him to this rave. You went to him to this club. 
So I need you to keep your hands up if that's correct. If it's not correct, then lower your hands. Now he's making me aware of, um, it's like, now, blood brother. So it's like, it, it, I don't know why, but it's like he wants to, yeah, I don't know if you, you ever, like he, he wants to like do, do like a blood brother thing. So I don't know if that means anything. Just put your hands down if blood brother doesn't mean anything to you. Um, it's just something that he's doing, but it's like this, this symbol, it's like coming together, like, you know, a pact, you made a pact with him. And that's what I'm, I'm getting. This is the feeling I'm getting with him. I do, yeah, I do feel with him as well. Someone that, um, uh, he was very positive, but it's like, he, he, he went so fast and I feel that he passed to the spirit world very quickly. I do know it was a mixture of his lifestyle that took him to the spirit world. Do I feel that he was, that he burnt the candle at two ends and his body couldn't handle it because one minute he was there, the next minute he wasn't, right? And that's what, how he's actually telling me about his passing. It was like a quick passing to the spirit world. And I've still got two of you. He's also making me aware that the person he's come for would have an item of his clothes it like it's shown me clothes. It's shown me that they would have an item of his clothes as well. So you would have an item of his clothes and a, a, like a necklace, like I'm seeing something that um, uh, very meaningful and he's showing me the yin yang symbol. So if you can take all of that, keep your hands up. Down to one. Lisa. Down to one. There you go. Lisa Bradley, open your microphone, please. You've... Um, You've got a contact here. Could you speak to me? Yes. Yes. And could you speak up? Would you understand all the information? And it's like he's, he's talking about crazy things you did together because he said, um, I can't mention everything in demonstration form, but you guys got over together. But you were like, there should have been three musketeers, but there were two. You understand? And I feel. Um, the emotion with him and you, but it's like that Peter Pan thing, you guys played that out, right? And um, it's like he showed me running, running over sand dunes on the beaches, crazy stuff that you did together when you were younger. Um, it's like he's, he's bringing all these memories back, say, remember the, the crazy things we did? You understand? And I feel with him like, you know, um, it, somehow I feel with him, it was like, um, it, uh, it was his lifestyle that took him, but I feel it, like an impact with him as well. You understand this? So it's like, you know, um, and it, but he's like, he says to me, he's, he's like one of these, he, he was like a firework. You take this guy to a party, he'll explode. <laughs> right? He's like, come on, let's party. He's like, come on, everyone, let's have a good time. And it's like, he's in the spirit world. And he's still that same energy, that same, the same way. And remembering the good things that you did together. It's like, I, you must, because I know I, I mentioned the tattoo the last time, but there must've been a tattoo with him that you would understand because it's like, I want to have matching tattoos of some, some <laughs> reason. You understand that? Yes. Okay. Because it's like, I just feel with him as well. It's like, um, uh, we, that you were, it's like you, he says you tried to help him but he was like, you couldn't, you couldn't talk to him. And it's yeah. like, he, he did listen to you sometimes and he'd be like, yeah, right. Yeah. Right. And before you know it, he's off again. Um, but you can understand this yin yang symbol, right? Very much. Because he's pointing at that, that you would know that. And there's something about buried treasure or buried <laughs> treasure. So I know he would like his pirate things, but he's like, he was, he could be a bit of a pirate. And he could be, you know, a bit like that, but he's showing me this buried treasure. Do you understand this? You do. Um, so it's like, I feel with him as well. I feel like he, he's, he's, he's here, like, because he wants to bring you confidence. And the first thing that he, he was bringing was like, you know, he wants to bring you all these things that you did together that were really good. Like, you know, remember the crazy things. Yeah, he wasn't, he said, I wasn't the only one that thought I was invincible because you climbed trees together, you did crazy stuff, rock climbing, you shouldn't have been doing it, you're lucky that you're alive, but you understand what he's talking about. And he's talking about these things, 
camping trips, but he's, he was into his extreme stuff, like over in extreme camping, extreme stuff, stuff out of the box that people would never guess what he was going to do next. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you can take all that. And I it's can. like, I do feel with him as well, it's like he's, he's pointing to you and he's pointing to that yin, yin yang symbol. He says, you do need to have, you know, the shadow to, and the light together. And it's like these things. So it's like, you know, the times that are difficult at the moment, you trying to juggle all these balls, trying to get all these things going on in your life. And he's saying, but there is the light there. You need to see that as well. And it's that balance. That's what he's on about, that balance. And really your brother, some people would have known him like um, as being this vibrant guy, but you knew him and you knew the spiritual side of him because not many people would know that about him. You understand what I mean? Because so, they would just, sorry? It's my first love that you've got with you. Okay. So okay, it was but, very much like brother, but. Yeah, yeah, okay. But it's just like, I, I just know, like with the evidence, if we stick with the evidence, yeah. it's like, you know, he's like, oh no. But it's like, um, but it's like, because you got matching tattoos. No, but I always wore the necklace. All right, you wear the necklace. All right. But you, under, you understand what he means with that. And it's like, I just know with him as well, he was someone that really, um, when he wanted to do something, there was no stopping him. No stopping him. Um, and that's for you. He said, when you start to believe in yourself, there's no stopping you. And there's a lot of love for you here. And there's a lot of confidence in you and what you can achieve. So he's saying it's about time you listened because it's not the first time he's told you and there's not the first time you've heard there's a lot of people in the spirit world that believe in what you're doing so you just go ahead and do it so okay lots of love from him to you thank you thank you thank you well done um right. well so thank you everyone it's two o'clock now so we can should we do it Double? We could do a real quick double if you want. And if you guys don't mind going over just a few minutes. Who minds going over? If you mind going over, leave now. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> so if you mind going over, because it's two o'clock now, if you if you mind us going over time, leave now. Um, if you don't, stay. And then yeah. you may get you may get a contact. Yeah. Well, you started off there. So we're gonna do a double link. And the way that Dyson and I do double links is one of us starts and the other one jumps in. You got anybody you want me to start? What, where are we going? I've got energy going all, all over the place here. So, yeah, um, that's what I figured you did. Jump, yeah. Go on ahead, jump and I'll jump in. Um, so let's see who steps forward here. So this is right, I haven't got anyone yet, but if you just uh, watch the energy here, um, we'll see what happens. Right, I've got a lady stepping in here and she's feeling like mum. And as she's coming forward, um, she made her own clothes. So we've got mother here, made her own clothes. And she's showing me that um, she would have made it for the family. Um, that's what mum's, mum's bringing me here. But she was very well turned out. Um, she liked to look good. It was very important for her to look good. And that's how mum's coming to me. She's got a very strong energy uh, about her, Kay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, I'm I'm with her as well, and I want to go back to the sewing with with this mom. I feel that she would have been a very good seamstress um, as well. I also feel that uh, she would have even dabbled a little bit into making her own patterns and working. Uh, she was that creative that she could. If she didn't have the pattern, she could just create the pattern and, and go go off of that. I know that um, uh, she, she's showing me the sewing as well. So I know that this sewing would have been quite important to her. I also feel that she would have um, um, passed that skill down. I feel that others, she would have taught her children um, how to sew or, or children. I feel it's her children that she would have pass that on to um, as well. But I feel that her, her sewing, um, she just gives me this feeling that her sewing was quite professional looking. 
you know, sometimes as children, we don't want to always, you know, when you get a certain age, you don't always want to wear your clothes that your mother has made, but she had a way of making these clothes the way people really couldn't tell it was homemade because it was done so well. So we've still got quite a few here. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's whittle, whittle this down a bit then, shall we? Shall we? Um, yes. So I, I, what she's showing me with this uh, clothes making, the person that would be connected to mum would still have the sewing machine that she left behind and the thimbles that she left behind. Mm -hmm. So keep your hand up if that's true. If not, drop your hand, please. It would have been a singer sewing machine as well. A singer sewing machine. Mm -hmm. Keep your hand up. If it's not, drop your hand, please. Yeah. And the thimbles. So I've got thimbles here on the fingers that she's putting on. So it would have been like a collection of thimbles um, as well. That's what she's making me aware of. Um, I feel with her as well, um, and, and it, I don't know it, what, what, where she's going with it, but there must have been the name Margaret um, with her. So would you, if you got the name Margaret, keep your hand up. If you haven't, drop your hand, please. Right, Margaret. Four. Yep, yeah, got four. Um, so, and and I, I feel somehow she would have been called Marge for sure um, by some people. Okay, got three. I also feel with this this mom that she would have had a nice sense of humor. I feel that she could have been uh, would have been quite um, lively at times. I feel that she would have been one that liked to 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 chat and gossip i use that word <laughs> i know that she she was always aware of the things that were going on around the family with everybody she was she um she liked keeping up is what she's telling me and she, she liked keeping up with everybody in the family but she also kept up with everybody in the neighborhood as well so i know that she would have had this gift of of chatting we're going to say that in a nice way that she would have had uh this gift to, to chat and keep everybody apprised of all the things that were going on within the family. I also feel she would have been um, one who, who cooked as well because she takes me into the kitchen and I know that she would have spent time in that kitchen as well. I also feel that she wouldn't have, wouldn't have always been the neatest person in, in the house or she wouldn't have always kept the house spick and span spotless um, and that it, it was okay with her if it got a little untidy. She, she could live with that. A little untidy was okay. And she could live with that. So I, I know that she would have, we still got two. Okay. We still got two. Um, so um, as I'm working with that, I do feel she liked to drink as well, mum, because she's putting a wine glass in my hand. So um, keep your hand up if she liked to drink. Um, so we've got mum, mum here. I feel like she liked a glass of wine and she liked to celebrate. I feel that she would have liked to drink a little stronger than wine at times. And I feel that she would have had a special place where she put um, her stuff to keep hands out of it as well. I know there would have been like a cabinet or, or someplace up high where she would have put, because I know it's more than wine that's in this cabinet as well. Yeah. So keep your hand up if that's uh, correct. That Lisa. Lisa Bradley. Yeah. Oh, Lisa, we've already had Lisa. We've already had Lisa. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hi from Mum, we'll get another one. Yeah. <laughs> no, only joking, only joking. Um, this is what can happen, right? Um, you know, uh, in these things. But um, you understand all of that? So um, it's not any more questions, but we just want to say thank you um, very much for showing up. And, I believe the experiment um, worked, Kay. I think it did. I think we did okay. We managed the technology. Yeah. <laughs> so we think we did good. Yay. Yeah. But we well, thank you so very much. much. And we thank the spirit world for coming and joining us and being a part of this as well. And even if you didn't get a reading, perhaps maybe there was something in a reading that you can take away that resonated with you. Yeah. Okay. So take care, all of you, stay safe, and Bye. 
<laughs> thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank okay. you. Bye, guys. Thank you. Beautiful job. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us. Namaste. 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 <laughs>